A month ago, I lost my friend. The person who taught me to be the creator I am today. The person who was the first one to validate me to say I'm good enough to do what I do. The one who introduced me to the crafting community and all the amazing things it has to offer. And now that she's gone, my crafty community seems a little less brighter and quite small. So I've been spending a lot of time avoiding creating because I know that creativity is my form of healing and my happy place. And I know that all of these feelings surrounding loss are going to come out on paper at some point. But how do you capture a life or a moment, a meaningful friendship on a card? How do you make a card, a sympathy card, for a family that means so much to you? How do you ensure that what you want to say is in there? So I'm going to attempt it and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my friend Susie. The last time I was with Susie was just before I moved to Germany, right before the pandemic began and travel seemed like a normal thing to do. We knew we had to plan a girls trip since we didn't know the next time we would get to see each other. So we brainstormed some ideas and as the kid in the group I managed to get my own way and we were off to Universal Studios in Florida. Just as many times before on our trips to Phoenix, Susie was there waiting in the airport for me. I can still hear her laugh and snarky comments as we tried to fit all our luggage into the car. You see, back when Facebook groups and design teams were really getting started digitally, I met these incredible ladies. We bonded over stamps and cards, and those long discussions turned into swapping daily stories and sharing our lives, and a friendship happened to blossom. That bond we shared through card making has some kind of magic to it. And Susie was the center of that. And when you add in Susie's mama, we were a complete crafty family. And that magic, our quirkiness and our passion for paper really showed when we walked into the Scribulus store in Diagon Alley, the shop for all things writing and paper in the wizarding world of Harry Potter. These are the ladies that totally understand the need for browsing for hours and hours and feeling and touching parchment paper, pens, wax seals and stamps, and of course spending way too much money and enabling each other also. Now not only do these ladies understand this, but Susie almost paid another day's admission to the park to go back to the store and buy some more of those ink pads. It's great having friends that understand your craziness. That day was what I call a perfect day. Our adventures in the parks, ordering takeout, sitting down to introduce Josephine to the sound of music and let her in on our obsession with Captain Von Trapp. Our trip sadly was cut short though due to a hurricane evacuation. The other ladies left and Susie and I honestly debated weathering it out just to get a few more days in together. However, we did get a little freaked out when we got the emergency evacuation warning. We packed up as quickly as we could and ran through the rain to bring out the garbage. And I remember slowing down my pace on the way back because at this point, we couldn't get any more soaked than we already were. We looked at each other and burst out laughing. In a fit of laughter, in the middle of a hurricane, we packed our bags full of stationery, journals, and notebooks. My heart was so full and happy that day. And this is the last time I saw Susie. Such a simple moment. I never thought would have such an impact on my thoughts over the last few weeks. Now as I'm sitting here making this video and remembering that last run in the rain, I'm looking at this card Susie sent me. Her gorgeous handwriting that made the most beautiful bullet journals and a watercolored galaxy of course. I remember that watercolor phase so well when she could do nothing but color watercolor galaxies. Not to be too poetic, but Susie is exactly like this galaxy. You see her and it starts off with light, fun colors on the surface that make you laugh and feel so warm and happy. 
And then you mix in a little darkness, which was her sense of humor and a love for snarky sayings that would make a sailor blush. And then comes the black, like a blanket that covers it all, her protective side. Once you became a friend of Susie's, your family, she'll defend you to no end, set you straight when you need it, and keep you warm and lift you up like nobody else can. She expected us to be the best we could be. She refused to accept anything else. So Susie, wherever you are, what happens in life after we leave this place, I hope that wherever you are is as beautiful as the galaxies that you watercolored. And I'll see you one day.